Hello everyone, welcome to AD Academy. Today we will have a special session about mock interview. Well, like I have invited Manjunath because like he is appearing for Cisco very soon and he want to prepare his interview well so that he can crack his job and get land to his dream company. So welcome Manjunath. Yes, sir. Thank you. Firstly, having me, sir. My name is Manjunath. I am from Barangal, Telangana. I recently completed my graduation from Bhagdavi College of Engineering in the branch of Electronics and Communication. And I have also completed my diploma from VMR Polytechnic in the same branch of Electronics and Communication. I recently completed my five month five, five month internship as a Flutter developer at Shemi Technologies. Coming to my skill set, I have good knowledge of Java, Python, SQL. That's it. Okay, nice. So could you little bit explain like your internship experience and the kind of work you did there? Yes, sir. It's a basically a five months internship, sir. I worked as a Flutter developer intern where my team lead has assigned me assigned to me do the UI interfaces and login pages and etc. etc. like that, sir. Using Flutter and Dart programming language, sir. We are a team of six members okay okay so yeah so how much you are comfortable in programming languages in programming i rate myself in java and python same that is out of 10 i scale myself seven okay and i have good knowledge of database mysql okay okay nice good to hear that so maybe let's we can jump into a technical deep dive into python so you can share your screen where you can write one or two line codings. So could you write a string and check whether that string is a palindrome or not? Okay. Okay, fine. So like since we have written Manjunath, so it is showing false. So we're going to check with some other string like palindrome, say A, B, C, B, A. Just a simple one. It's returning true, sir. Okay, great, good. Uh, say for example, if you have a matrix or an, maybe an array and of say five elements so how do you remove duplicates from your list okay to remove duplicate okay. elements from my list i will use set sir because set only allow unique values so you mean you want to convert this list to set yes sir okay Okay, got it. I got it. You are correct. So, yeah. No, no, it will be print list two. Yes, sorry. My bad. Okay. So, like here, I will just give one suggestion since it's a mock interview. So, yeah, your uh, concept is right for both the programming uh, like i feel like you are good in programming like basic knowledge you have but the thing is that very very minor mistake which you are doing so you can speed up your coding if you don't do these minor mistakes like this string one string two this one list two so while doing it just just keep it in your mind this is very minor things like so yeah okay otherwise you are all good set to go okay now yeah uh, so in python so what what is a dictionary dictionary is a mutable data set sir hmm? in in ha huh, sorry 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 sir dictionary is a immutable one sir we cannot change the values in it in dictionary holds the key key and value pair values sir key and it frequency values like uh, if you have numbers of uh, if you have set numbers like uh, like group group of numbers then it stores it uh, its values uh, like that it stores okay so you can't change those values 
no sir but if you want in to dictionary so so suppose if you have a dictionary of a city and corresponding phone numbers of different people so the say the dictionary name is city and where you have say delhi bombay kolkata these three cities are there and corresponding to that you have some uh, say uh, some number associated with it some phone number associated with it so delhi and some phone number mumbai and some phone number kolkata and some phone number so can't you change the phone number for kolkata no sir we can't change okay so you means like dictionary is a fix so once you create a dictionary yeah it's a okay okay but uh, this is not right so like you can change the value of any key in a dictionary so if you want okay. to change the phone number of any of the key keys are here like delhi mumbai and kolkata and the corresponding phone number so you can change them okay okay yeah so uh, let's coming to one more advanced question so how does a uh, python manage memory i don't know sir about this okay so do you have the concept of say reference counting or garbage collection yes sir i have knowledge this on java sir in java hmm. okay fine fine yeah in java no the variable didn't point any its address the ja the garbage collector hit sign it delete it sir okay mm -hmm. in java like that okay fine if there is no reference then it deletes sir automatically delete by using garbage collector in java okay fine so like as you mentioned java so for java or python so could you explain like what is uh, oops concept yeah oops is the main pillar of uh, programming language sir by oops we can solve problems and oops has four main key key features like uh, abstraction polymorphism encapsul encapsulation and inner tensor mm -hmm. polymorphism means like uh, we can use multi the met methods names are same sir and the functionalities are different okay in polymorphism there are two types of polymorphism one is run time and one one is compile time and uh, coming to abstraction it uh, abstraction hides the unwanted uh, code and shows the useful code to the user sir and come into inheritance the sub sub classes inherit the properties of parent class sir and by using that the code re reusability will increase and we will not uh, write the code again and again sir and okay. uh, come into like Hmm. Encapsulation. Encapsulation is the binding of data, code, and it, it methods in a single unit called a class. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, have you heard about like method overriding? Yes, sir. Uh, could you explain what is that? Method overriding is a runtime polymorphism, sir. During runtime, it detects. the the method the method names names is same and the functionalities were different okay can can you could give some example could you give some example with respect to say if you have a say parent class and if you have one more class the child class so how method overwriting works on parent class and child class the methods are same like uh, child class have parent class methods right hmm and uh, hmm that is fine then then uh, okay in that case so who is more powerful like parent class or child class child class okay right yeah so yes yeah, so for method overriding always child class is more powerful yes you are right so in overridden method in child class like they have the same name even not only same name 
that the return type, the parameters, everything are same with respect to that of the parent class. Okay, fine. Yeah, good. <laughs>